A funeral procession makes its way to Our Lady of Visitation Church, where loved ones are saying goodbye to a beloved teacher, 51 year old Jennifer Williamson. She was killed in that school bus crash along with a fifth grade student while on a field trip last week. It's really hard to accept that she's gone. She loved all of her students. She was nice to everyone and she really helped all the students. For two decades, Williamson taught the same grade in the same classroom. Her students say she was so dedicated, she would spend her lunch break with them, so staff would bring her a turkey sandwich every day. The next day after the accident, I got into my friend's car and I said, let's go to the same deli that we always go to because Jen, you know, that's where I would get her her sandwich. And I sat down in my friend's car and I, I, I felt something and I picked up and there was a lot of, lot of singles. I was like, oh, this is Jen. She wants me to get her one last sandwich. Williamson's funeral comes three days after 10-year-old Miranda Vargas was laid to rest. The teacher and student were on their way to Waterloo Village in Stanhope with more than 40 children and teachers on the bus when the driver allegedly missed an exit and tried to make an illegal U-turn. The bus was struck by a dump truck on Route 80 in Mount Olive. It's something that just should have not been. It's, it's a tragedy for Miranda as well, Miranda's family as well, and all the other kids that are still in the hospital. A spokesperson with the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission says the 77-year-old driver, Hudy Muldrow, has a long history of violations. Williamson's husband sent us a statement saying he fell in love with his wife the day they met and that he, their family, and thousands of students are crushed by her death. In Paramus, New Jersey, Natalie Dudrich, CBS2 News.